When I tell you the war on conservatives is real, when I tell you the left's war on free speech is real, when I tell you the absolute quest to silence conservative outlets like Newsmax is real, I want you only to look at Joe Biden's slate of judicial nominations. They are freedom squashing radicals. Sixth Circuit Court nominee Andre Mathis appears to be either a prolific traffic scofflaw or just plain irresponsible. Either way, his disregard for the law should disqualify him from serving on any bench. Not only did Tennessee suspend his license on three occasions, but he continued to drive on a suspended license. Now, I've got speeding tickets, I'm sure all of you do, but I always take care of them. Do you know why I do? Because I respect the law, and I also respect the court. Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn put it like this during the hearing. He has a rap sheet with a laundry list of citations, including multiple failures to appear in court. In Tennessee, we expect our judges to respect the law, not disregard it. If Mr. Mathis thought he was above the law before, imagine how he'll conduct himself if he's confirmed as a federal judge. I forgot to pay the ticket. I, 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 my recollection, I would have put it in my glove, glove compartment and just simply forgotten uh, to pay the ticket. Folks, what a lame excuse. You don't show up to court and you want to be a judge? I don't care whether it's for a traffic ticket or, or whether it's for a, a highway robbery. You got to show up to court. That lame excuse, though, is par for the course. Instead of personal responsibility from the left, Liberals always offer up excuses. And to prove just how ridiculous the left is, that one comment from Senator Blackburn saying that he has a rap sheet, which he does have. I spoke to her office. They said they have the criminal rap sheet from this prospective judge. Well, all that started an absolute media frenzy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It was extraordinarily uh, painful to watch as an American and as an African American. Blackburn has waded wheel well high into a stereotype that black men are criminals. But what the White House cannot be blamed for is Blackburn trafficking in a racist trope, even if inadvertently. Criminalizing and stereotyping and degrading black people. This is this is un, this is conduct unbecoming of a United States senator. Folks, Senator Marsha Blackburn is not a racist. I know her personally. She's not the one who didn't show up to court. This prospective judge is the guy that didn't show up to court. What are they moaning about? Senator Blackburn simply is this, a truth teller, and the left hates that. All of this from the left, what you just saw there, you know what it is, it's race baiting, to distract you from the real issue that Mathis is an unqualified candidate with no regard for the law. He's a man who ignored the court and societal rules. If you can't respect the little things, how are you going to respect the big ones? Something a federal judge certainly needs to do. Then there's this guy, Dale Ho. He's also being offered up by Biden as a federal judge. Well, in 2019, he pointed out that 25% of the black population in Florida, according to him, has a criminal conviction barring them from voting. Then he made this outrageous comment about Florida. More than 30% of black men in the state unable to vote. Now, when you look at those numbers, right, how do you call Florida a democracy? How do you call Florida a democracy? Here's how. You call Florida democracy because that's the standard the people of Florida agreed on. And by the way, in Florida, some people with felony convictions are allowed to vote. That's better than Ho's former employer, the state of Virginia, that doesn't allow any convicted felons to vote, ever. And one just has to look at Ho's social media to see it's clear he hates all of us. He hates conservatives. He described himself as a, quote, wild-eyed sort of leftist. You yourself have described yourself as, quote, a wild-eyed leftist. I was characterizing how others have caricatured myself. 
Oh, well, others think you're a wild-eyed leftist. How about that? It makes no sense. It's even worse. There are other damning tweets from Ho as well, all making it clear there is no way he will be impartial on the bench. Republican Senator John Kennedy said this. I think you're an angry man. And I've, I, I really have great concerns about voting for you. We, we, don't, we don't need federal judges who are angry. We need federal judges who are fair and can see both points of view. Yeah, angry, right? But why would anyone be surprised? Joe Biden wants more angry radicals. That's no surprise. He wants them on the court. He wants them in his administration. Joe Biden is an angry radical. In fact, anger is what surrounds this administration, which brings us, of course, back to the angriest of all, Dr. Anthony Flip-Flop Fauci, the government's highest paid bureaucrat, the guy who called a sitting United States senator a moron the other day when questioned about Dr. Fauci's financial records and any conflict of interest that they might prove. Watch this interaction. I don't understand why you're asking me that question. My financial disclosure is public knowledge and has been so for the last 37 years or so. Where would we find it? All you have to do is ask for it. <laughs> I, I, you're so misinformed. It's extraordinary. Well, why am I, why am I misinformed? This is a huge issue. Dr. Fauci has answered you. It is public information, and he's happy to give it to you if you would ask. Senator Moran. What a moron. Jesus Christ. He calls a sitting United States senator a moron, then uses the Lord's name in vain. That's your hero, Fauci, right there. And he said, quote, all you have to do is ask for it about those disclosures. Right there. That appears to be another Fauci lie because a lot of people have been asking for it and they don't have it. If Fauci's financial disclosure documents were publicly available as he claims, why then would Judicial Watch, on behalf of the nonpartisan government watchdog group Open the Books, have to sue for it? That's right, in court, sue for public information that Fauci claims is readily available. This information should be handed over to anyone who asks for it. 